Hey everybody, I'm starting off this video at Crane's Roost Park, even though people don't seem to care much about this park when I go here. This is a weird place to have a dock. Usually connects to land. Not sure why it's out there, but there it is. So I'm standing here. This is this is kind of interesting. You want to pause the video and read this. This area has lots of restrictions. Kind of weird that it says wheeled devices and objects are strictly prohibited. But uh, obviously wheelchairs are allowed, so uh, not the best wording. So I guess uh, strollers. No scooters either. Hmm. The interesting thing about this place is there's a whole stage there for bands to play, but they often play here. I'm not even sure why this area is here instead of having it just open up to that area. Should be higher up. Um, oh, I guess those are so that the stage can rise up. But how how high do they expect this to rise? It looks like it might be floating. That's kind of weird. All right. This song always reminds me of Bill and Ted. A lot of Orlando residents do not like this building. It's kind of a waste of money, but. I just find it weird that it's a building that looks like it's it should be in the middle of a city and it it, it isn't there's, there's nothing around it I guess this stage in this area all floats no oh, that's why this, these are on hinges so when the water rises it rises but I'm just saying that it, it, it seems to make more sense for that to be over here and on solid ground here comes the wind so that people over here can see it I don't know it the whole thing I'm it's just saying the whole thing doesn't make sense to me now over to Lake Eola should name this video places Dave likes that doesn't get views it's just a nice park I don't know why people don't uh, maybe it's just not something people search for I don't know so I'm here in downtown Orlando to go to the Melrose Center, which is a really cool place in the public library. Fortunately, it's not that close to me, but really cool. This time over by City Hall, and I'm here because I'm finally going to go see the Four Rivers here at City, uh, City Hall because it closes at 3 p.m., so I keep getting here a little bit too late. Barbecue and orange juice. I guess that works for some people. And over on this side, they have some tea, some baked goods, and this is an area where if you call ahead, you can just pick up coffee as well. I decided to get the pulled pork with mac and cheese, 
and fries. And this interesting bottle, which seems like it's going to be on the shelf pretty soon. Figured why get a regular soda when you can get something you can't find other places. Even though I try not to drink soda very much because it gives me cavities. Lots of them. But every once in a while. I don't know if there's any, ever going to be sponsors on this channel, but um, I'm guessing Four Rivers won't be one of them. This is uh, a pretty decent cold pork sandwich, but uh, it's really dry. Um, I find their barbecue sauce to be kind of runny, which I, I don't like. That's a personal thing. This mac and cheese, not that great. The fries are okay. Um, soda's pretty good. So let's check out some more places around here. Uh, now that I'm here in downtown Orlando, might as well uh, look around. Here is the Dr. Phillips Center, which is getting an expansion here. It's a portable security gate. Pretty, uh, pretty intense. When I say Dr. Phillips Center, I really mean Dr. P. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts. That's cool, kind of nice up there at the balcony. This gets used quite often for festivals and things. Should come uh, check one out someday. Fortunately, today, obviously not one of those days. This was a way to drive past and drop people off. Uh, not right now. Person makes crossing the road. Oh, it's an actual street. It's weird. It's a street that goes. I think it's just a road in front of the place, but it's actually a regular street. It goes right past it. They built this over a street. Wow. Don't know if it's even open, but let's uh, find out. Nope. Locked. Here's the side of the building. I've heard of the. I've heard about this, but I've never been in it. So it's like today, uh, that's not gonna change. I didn't even know this was under construction. At this point, I guess I just find construction here in Orlando by accident. We have to um, look up what that, I don't know what that noise is, but it sure is annoying. Um, we have to look up exactly what this is, the, the expansion I mean. Looks relatively small compared to the rest of the building. I should put up an American flag here somewhere, but I don't see one. It, hmm. I don't know. I think if it was a flag up here, it'd be kind of big. But all right. Actually, now that I'm walking along this way, it's a it's a good size expansion. I mean. We've got this giant tower crane and one over there. Well, if you're interested, maybe I'll come back and check it out another time. Uh, this is just further along. Look at, the, look at the freestanding stairwell. That's interesting. I'm sorry, I can't show you anything other than the outside of this building. I do like when you cross here, it has the name of the street you're crossing down there. That's kind of nice. Now there's a parking garage across from the street. From that is the parking garage where I parked. And it looks like that's a parking garage going up over there. Although it's probably a building with a parking garage in the bottom. But still, garage, garage, garage. Another look around before I head out. Now, when I was looking at apartments, I found this building here, 55 West. 
as soon as I saw the outside of it, I thought, well, I'm gonna keep looking because I don't wanna live downtown and also that building looks very expensive. Of course, I looked at the prices and yeah, it is.